Hey guys, this is Steve here at Hankster's Hot Rods. And what we have for you today is this really nice 1985 Chevrolet C10. We're going to do a walk around on it as we do with all of our vehicles. Uh, first thing you notice on this one is the paint. Uh, it is a really nice orange color. Really stands out. It's a pretty flashy truck and the paint is overall pretty good condition. Another thing you notice here, nice side view. It does have a, a steel cow induction hood. It's two inch cow induction. Really gives it more of a sporty look. Guy that goes with the wheels there. And coming down to the wheels, uh, we have the US Mags 20 inch aluminum wheels, polished with the uh, polished and the gray uh, centers on there. Really, really nice. Of course, it's a common thing with these two wheel drives. Uh, like to put the wheels on this. The wheels against this orange really stands out. Um, moving on back here, our first gap uh, driver's side door to driver's side fender. Nice and even going down. You can see our body line. Mine's right up there. Um, coming back here, driver's side windshield, driver's side side windows here, no chips or cracks in the glass. As you will see on these windows here, they are tinted. Coming back to our second gap, cab to door, nice and even coming down, and body line lines right up there. What we're going to do now is open up the driver's side and interior so you can see the inside here. Vinyl bench seat, black interior, black door panels, dash, aftermarket steering wheel there, really uh, makes the interior look nice. Polished centers with the leather black ring. Automatic on the column. Carpet's really nice. Lower part of the dash, as uh, customary, is painted body color. Carpet's are really nice. The door panels are nice and the door jams are in great condition. Moving along there. Um, back window here is a sliding rear window. It is also tinted. I don't see any chips and cracks in this section either. We do have a tonneau cover, black tonneau cover on the bed here. Keep everything in there nice and in good shape and dry. Again, the paint on the bed, really nice shape, really shiny. Of course, the orange is pretty, pretty flashy there. Coming to the back, tailgate gaps. Nice and even on this one here. Nice and straight. Pretty even on this one as well. Uh, down into the valence there. This one does have a roll pan on the back. Uh, not a bumper, does have a roll pan on the back, which is customary on these, really gives it that sporty custom look. Tail lights, pretty good shape there. I see chips and cracks in that one. Nor on this one either. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is lower the tailgate down. I'll show you the inside of the bed here. Also, body color. Pretty nice shape in there. You do have the uh, textures here, but painted nice with the body color. Move it along. Passenger side of the bed. Really nice shape here. And again, the paint, really shiny, really looks great. Moving up to our first gap passenger side cab to door. Pretty even going down and get our body line pretty close on the money there. Windows on this side also tinted. What we're going to do here, uh, open up this side, you can see the passenger side of the interior. Carpet's really nice. You can see the seat is in great shape, door panels are in great shape. And the door jams on this side as well, really nice. Moving along here, second gap, pretty even, and our body line very close on the money there. Passenger side of the windshield, no chips and cracks there. Our hood gap, all way around, driver's side, passenger side, nice and even. Coming up to the front, bumper. I've got a chrome bumper on the front here, and the chrome is in really nice shape. You do have a couple of scratches here and there, but overall, great condition. We've got a black lower valence there, or air dam, whatever you uh, prefer there. It is in great shape. The uh, grill, pretty nice shape as well. I don't see any chips and cracks in the grill. It does look pretty nice there. As with our headlight lenses, everything looks pretty good. Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to pop the hood, and we'll go over everything in the engine bay.
Underneath the hood, body color. Um, everything in here, you know, your uh, wheel wells and so on is all black. Uh, we do got the chrome radiator support cover here, chrome Edelbrock air cleaner. We do have a, um, well, what, what I should say first, this is a 350 Chevrolet small block. Uh, like I said, with the chrome Edelbrock air cleaner, uh, Edelbrock aluminum intake. We do have the chrome Chevrolet valve covers, really dresses it up, uh, makes it look nice. Uh, very nice touch in that aspect of it. We do have power steering, power brakes, and air conditioning in this truck as well. Um, very nice package here, four barrel carburetor, more than enough to move this truck with ease. Uh, what we're going to do now is put it up in the air, we're going to go over the undercarriage and everything under there for you. Hey guys, this is Steve here, we got our 1985 C10 up in the air and we're going to go through the undercarriage as we normally do. Um, starting at the front, our greasables. Like they've been greased, taken care of. Um, it does look like it has new upper control arms on it. Um, we have disc brakes in the front, drum brakes in the back, 20s the whole way around, as I mentioned. These are 245, 45, 20 in the front, 275, 45, 20 in the rear. Our center cross member, nice and solid, no ruster holes on that. Our front frame sections here, no rust on those, no rust or holes on this section here, a little bit of a look right here, a bit of a bend there, no rust or holes though. On these areas. Um, our oil pan on our 350, our rear main seal, our transmission pan on our 350 turbo transmission, and our output seal all nice and dry, no leaks there. Our transmission cross member, nice and solid, no holes or anything in that. We have dual exhaust on this truck coming off stock style manifolds, going the whole way back into dual mufflers, which we'll go over as we get back there. Coming back to our drive shaft, balanced. The center shaft section of our frame rails here. Looking good. Our floors. Looking really good. Let's put our tank here. Coming back, our upper cross member here. Our bed ground starting. Those look really good so far. Uh, before I go further, uh, our door exhaust comes into dual mufflers. These are flow monster mufflers. Up over the axle. And out the back, loop up and dump out on either side of the leaf springs in the back. We got leaf spring suspension on the back of the truck with the stock style uh, shocks. Our front leaf spring mounts. And rear leaf spring mounts. Look really good. Our input seal and our rear differential cover on our 10 bolt rear, nice and dry, no leaks there. Um, we got drum brakes on the back. Like I said, we got leaf spring suspension, stock style shocks. We do have extenders, uh, aftermarket extenders welded on here to the perches to lower the shock as the truck is lowered. And that is on both sides. The exhaust comes out right here behind the leaf spring mount and dumps on this area, both sides of the truck. Our bed rails, bottom of our bed floor, from this area back, all that looks really good. Our rear frame sections.
go. Roster holes there. All in all, looks pretty good under here. Uh, what we're going to do now is drop it down, start the engine up so you can hear it run.